the advances in AI has made healthcare really take a look at it and start start utilizing it. When you look at some of these some of these um, studies, you see it being used in breast cancer and in brain tumors and in wrist fractures. You know, looking at some of these numbers, it's pretty profound. Five percent more true positive diagnoses. Those are patients that would have missed a diagnosis and gotten more sick. 11% fewer false positives. Imagine being a woman and getting a, a positive breast cancer diagnosis and then realizing that after you had a mastectomy, it was a false positive. 32 times faster treatment. Wow, that is amazing. 96% diagnostic accuracy. Now what is what is great with medicine is that it's very forward facing to our patients. But medicine is not as easy to integrate. Dentistry is really a more fertile ground for AI to plant its roots and deliver fruit. And that is because in our practices the stakes are lower. We're not really finding cancer, you know, in the last 11 years I've seen cancer on patients one or two times. We also have less politics. We're oftentimes dealing with private practices. Even if it's a group practice, it's a private company. You know, we don't have the politics that hospitals have to go through where multiple, multiple people need to approve a new technology before it goes in. Usually it's me going to a show, seeing a new scanner and say, hey, I want to buy that scanner. I get approvals from my business partners, but that's about it. We're also dealing with a single biological region. You know, in medicine, like I showed you, they're doing breast cancer and brain tumors and um, shoulder dislocations and wrist fractures. And it's a little fragmented. And in dentistry, you know, we deal with this area and that's, that's kind of it. And also you have this increased rate of practice consolidation. So you have more group practices or, you know, what we call dental service organizations multiple groups, and they can really start to utilize treatment, start to utilize technology faster than our colleagues in medicine.